Welcome to the History Lord. You join me here today on the Fulham side of the River Thames, just by Putney Bridge, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, the reason Putney Bridge is there is because of one Prime Minister, Sir Robert Walpole. And here is the story. Welcome to London. There had been a ferry across the Thames here for centuries, but the bridge took shape after the then Prime Minister, Sir Robert Walpole, failed to get a ferry to take him across from Putney to Fulham. He had just been to see the King, George I, in Kingston, and was on his way back to a debate in the House of Commons. Walpole saw the ferry boat on the other side of the river, but the ferryman was nowhere in sight. He then spotted the ferryman in the pub opposite the Swan. He then spotted the ferryman in the pub opposite the Swan Inn, but couldn't get his attention. Walpole and his party had to get to Westminster the longer way round. The original bridge was constructed of wood in 1729 with 26 arches, not the five as we see now. We mentioned in a previous video that Westminster Bridge was a second bridge that was built across the Thames after London Bridge. Well, that is true. It was the second in central London. But Putney Bridge, or to be correct, Fulham Bridge, as it was first called, was the second bridge after London Bridge to be constructed on the river itself. Like most bridges, it was a toll bridge and it was heavily used right from the start. In the first few years, revenue regularly exceeded £1,500 a year. Toll booths were installed at either end and to save time, the Prince of Wales would pay £100 annually to allow his carriages of him, his family and his staff to pass freely. As with London Bridge, during the winter, you may be lucky and get a free passage by walking across the iced up river. This happened here in 1739, again in 1788 and 1789, and lastly in 1813 and 1814. The tolls were removed in 1877 when all bridges in London and the surrounding areas were taken into public ownership. In 1795, one of the first women's advocates, Mary Wollstonecraft, actually threw herself off of this bridge, trying to commit suicide after she found out the man she was seeing was having an affair. Thankfully, she was saved, unconscious from the river, and she was given the kiss of life, and she survived. We do another video elsewhere on the channel about Mary Wollstonecraft and her work. Putney Bridge has a distinction of being the only bridge in the UK to have a church at either end. St Mary's on the Putney side and All Saints in Fulham. And we'll be making videos about both of those churches. So watch this space, as they say. The bridge was rebuilt in 1886 and this design was by Sir Joseph Bazalgette, who's more famous for his magnificent sewer system that crisscrosses London. He designed two locked cages under the bridge to prevent access to two huge storm sewers. And the local myth is that the cages were there to drown criminals. It is just a myth. There is one modern event to note. In 2014, a Route 424 bus mounted the pavement and crashed through one of the stone walls. The bus was left slightly hanging over the edge and thankfully no one was seriously injured but the driver was cut free by the fire brigade. So that was a brief history of Putney Bridge. Thank you very much for watching. We do hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please subscribe. If you want to know when videos are uploaded, there's a notification bell just down below. If you want to see what we do outside of these videos, please go to historylord.co.uk, see about the walking tour of London, or have a look down below and see about James's YouTube channel, Last Line Films. He also does a podcast, and they're well worth a listen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon indeed. Take care. I felt really confident about that one, but there you go. Yeah, so this is take two after a false start because somebody interrupted behind the camera. But yeah, not mentioning any James names. So. We can get lefties at the camera, but I'm not going to put it in the outtake, so no one's going to see it. Yeah, but you probably will though, just because it's you. So. <laughs>